Pay attention, son. This is for your own good. It's not as famous as the Tower of London or the Leaning Tower of Pisa, but did you know that LA has its own tourist attraction towers? Bureaucratically, it's known as Historic Cultural Monument Number 15. Locally, it's called the Watts Towers, and Metro riders can take the Blue Line practically right to it for day trip cultural outings. Here's some background. The towers are in South LA in the two square mile district of Watts, which was once its own city but was absorbed into LA in 1926. The towers are a local gem of vernacular architecture. With LA being such a far flung city, many Angelinos don't even realize the towers are there and open to the public. But if they knew the controversial history, they might make the effort to go check them out. The 17 structures that make up the Watts Towers were built over 33 years by Italian immigrant Sam Rodia, who lived at 107th Street and Graham Avenue. From 1921 to 1953, he took pipes, steel, and scrap metal found along local railroad tracks and used them to create a miniature city. For decoration, he wove colored glass bottles, ceramic tiles, pottery, seashells into the mortar so the walls would sparkle in the sunlight. He used no heavy equipment, no scaffold, Holding, no bolts, rivets, or welds, not even a blueprint. It was all done by the hand and imagination of a small eccentric recluse who bathed once a month, listened to opera singer Enrico Caruso on a gramophone as he worked, and spent his own money to buy the cement. And the higher his towers rose, the more the neighbors noticed and resented them. When asked why he built the towers in the first place, Sam, in broken English, responded, I wanted to do something big. Now, he must have loved the community because he named his creation Nuestro Pueblo, which means our town. Sam was not a popular guy in Watts. During World War II, neighbors said his towers were antennas to pick up the Japanese radio broadcasts of Tokyo Rose, a woman who used to live in Watts. Locals jumped over the fence and vandalized Sam's work. By 1954, he'd had enough, abandoning the property and leaving L.A. The city wanted to demolish the towers, but some artists bought the property for $3,000 in order to preserve them. City officials didn't give up, though, claiming the structures were a public health hazard. In October 1959, they brought in a steel crane and attached a cable to each structure to see how well that they were built. And what do you know? The towers that Sam Rodia built in his spare time over 33 years outlasted the crane, which itself broke down without being able to budge the towers, a testament to Sam's sophisticated craftsmanship. 2014 is the 60th anniversary since Sam Rodia ceased work on his towers and left town. He died 10 years later at age 86 and never saw the towers again. The property is now a state historic park with a visitor center and information on Sam's creation. It's closed Monday and Tuesday, but tours are given Friday through Sunday. Metro riders can take the blue line to 103rd Street Station and look into the sky for two nearly 100 foot tall scrap metal towers. That's the place. I'm the Transit TV teacher, Justin Bjorn.